Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Young Family in our YouTube channel. Today is December 28th, 2024. In today's video, I'd like to talk about my Clementine Mandarin citrus tree because I have a bigger concern whether my Clementine Mandarin citrus tree is infected with Huanglong Bing or not. Stay tuned. Okay guys, this is my Clementine Mandarin citrus tree. So basically this citrus tree used to be grown in a container. Early this year, I transplanted this citrus tree from the container into the ground. So actually, I have a lot of videos, especially talking about this Clementine Mandarin citrus tree. I posted on my YouTube channel. You can click the playlist citrus tree propagation and care. You can find a lot of videos, especially talking about this citrus tree. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some more details about all these you know, videos. So I just want to quickly tell you, I have a bigger concern whether this citrus tree is infected with Huanglong Bing or not. So first, let's take a look at this citrus tree. So actually last year, this citrus tree produced a lot of fruits, very juicy, very big, fantastic. Actually, I got two big crops from this citrus tree. But this year, take a look at it. So far, I have not picked any fruits. You can see, not so many fruits, actually, much less than compared with last year. So some fruits kind of like a relative, like a medium size, some very small, you can see here very small so i just let you know the condition is not good i'm not sure whether this citrus tree is infected with huanglong bing why i'm talking about this citrus tree whether it is infected with huanglong bing because it shows some signs and symptoms kind of very similar to huanglong bing so first let's talk about what is huanglong bing huanglong bing is also called citrus greeny disease it is kind of a bacterial infection it is fatal for citrus tree there's no cure for citrus tree once the citrus tree is infected with huanglong bing it is kind of like a cancer so the citrus tree will die within a few years so once the citrus tree is diagnostic with huanglong bing should quarantine and cut and remove the citrus tree because this kind of disease can spread and infect some other citrus tree. So basically in California, I live in Los Angeles area. Last year, just last year, you know, actually they found, you know, the Guanlong Bing in LA County. So it's pretty close to our area. So that's why I have bigger concern for this citrus tree. So let's give you some more details about you know the symptoms and the signs why I worry about it, this one. So let's first get a start from early this year. Actually, after I transplanted this citrus tree into the ground, later, I think early this year, I found some leaves, it's kind of yellowish, especially at the tip or on both edge. It's kind of yellowish, kind of like, uh, you know, I'm not sure it's like this one. A lot of leaves, kind of like a micronutrients deficiency. So even though I put a lot of you know compost and you know any kind of like a fertilizers with micronutrients, but it still lasts longer. I don't know when it kind of like disappear, but right now you can see kind of most of the leaves is okay. I'm just talking about early this year when I transplant you know the this citrus tree to the ground. I found a lot of this kind of leaves. That's why I worry about a lot. This is one thing because Huanglong Bing, they can find some uneven yellow on the leaves. It shows some signs and symptoms of similar to micronutrients, you know, deficiency. So this is one concern. The second concern is actually this year, you can see the fruits, less fruits. They can also call, you know, the lower quality and the yield so this you can see the quantity is much much less than compared with last year and also it can cause some misshapen the fruits so that's why 
you can take a look at. Does not look good, you know, actually. Uh, I want to show you something. You see here, very small, small fruits, misshapen, you see here. This is one thing. Another thing is, I just mentioned the leaves and the fruits. And also it can cause a lot of excess premature fruit drop. To be honest, actually, so far, just I mentioned, I have not picked any fruits. And I have not seen any fruits drop to the ground, unless one is kind of a cracker, you know, on the skin, they dropped. That's the only thing. So, but most of fruits, I didn't see any fruits drop. This is one thing. Another thing I want to mention, actually, I have a big concern about these two fruits. Actually, you can see right here, actually, why I'm seeing, talking about this one. Because early, I once took a picture. These fruits is kind of show color inversion. What does it mean? That means on the top part, it's already turned yellow, orange, but the bottom part is still very green. That's why, you know, Bolong bean is also called citrus greeny disease. Actually, early I was took a picture, but right now it's kind of color is less green on the top, on the bottom. I'm not sure, you know, you can see right here, you see? So this is one symptom. Huanglong bean has this kind of symptom on the fruits. And also the fruits quality is not good. It tastes bitter. So far I have not picked any one. Maybe later I can taste one, pick one fruit to taste whether it's bitter or not. So I told you there's a lot of signs and uh, symptoms for Huanglong bean disease. But actually most people, they have no idea about Huanglong bean. It's hard to diagnose for Huanglong bean because, you know, actually for the leaves, yellowish, sometimes for your citrus, maybe microneutrients or some like uh, nutrients is deficient. They can cause some symptom on the leaves. And the fruits, you can see here, some probably in other pest infected, you know, citrus tree can also cause some misshapen. So one thing I want to mention you, this citrus tree, actually early this year in springtime, during the blooming season, this citrus tree infected with very serious, you know, the pest infection. It's aphids. That time, a lot of leaves infected with aphids caused a lot of, you know, curling, you know, leaves. And a lot of aphids just, you know, accumulate on the tip, you know, the branches, some leaves. So basically, I use homemade you know, the pesticide spray on the leaves. And also I use water just to rinse the leaves to remove all the aphids. So that's why I think this citrus might be caused some problem right now is because aphids. Because as I mentioned early this year, during the blooming season, this citrus tree has a lot of aphids infection. So anyway, I just want to quickly let you know this citrus tree condition is not good, but I'm not sure exactly whether this citrus tree is infected with Huanglong bean because this is a very serious problem in California, especially in Los Angeles County. So the last thing I want to mention you, I don't want Jim to make a conclusion. This citrus tree is infected with Huanglong bean because there's a lot of other citrus disease can also show some symptoms or signs very similar to Huanglong bean, such as citrus stubborn disease. So that kind of disease is also bacterial infection. It can also cause some symptoms very similar to, you know, the Huanglong bean. So that's why I'm not sure exactly. The most important is actually when I take a look at my citrus tree, whatever, you know, early this year when it is infected, infected with aphids, I didn't see any other pastors similar to, you know, Huanglong bean infected bacteria, which can be spread by a kind of, you know, pest. It is called Asian citrus psyllid. So I didn't see any like uh, Asian citrus psyllid, you know, pest on my citrus tree. So that's why I'm not sure whether this citrus tree is infected with Huanglong bean or not. So anyway, just to let you know, I have a bigger concern with this Clementine Mandarin citrus tree. 
So another thing I want to mention you actually two years ago, this citrus tree was infected with something disease. It is still very, very sick. I once posted on my YouTube channel that time, you know, all the leaves, you know, at the tip of the branches, you know, the leaves and the branches died, turned brown color and died. So I took some actions later, this citrus, you know, recovered. And the last year, it did fantastic. So that's why, you know, I think definitely this citrus tree is kind of like, uh, it's okay because two years I had thought it's affected with the Huanong bean. That's why I learned a lot from the website about this kind of disease. So I don't think most, you know, the gardeners know this kind of citrus disease. So it's hard for me to tell whether this citrus is infected with Huanong bean or not because just based on the symptom and the sign, it's hard to say because I told you citrus tree can be infected with some other disease. It, which can also show very similar, you know, symptoms and signs to Huanglong bean. So I'm really confused about this one. I have big concern about my citrus tree. So what do you say, guys? Leave comments down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.